when you hear the phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, what do you think of? <clears throat> Board of Operations? Maybe you learned it as, please end my day at school, which I have to say I can kind of align with a little bit more. But no matter what way you remember it, it's Order of Operations, PEMDAS, and we're going to do some today. I'm the middle school math teacher. Let's go. Order of Operations, better remembered as, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or just the abbreviation here of PEMDAS. I like to start with the abbreviation up here at the top of my paper. I use it as a checklist so I can make sure that I'm staying on the right order. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, or division. Notice they're underlined in red. They go together. Addition or subtraction. Again, underlined, they go together. These guys, you do whichever one comes first when you move from left to right, just like you're reading. So we're going to start with this problem. 8 minus the quantity of 6 times 2 plus 15. To my checklist. Do I have any parentheses? <gasps> I do indeed. So that's what I'm going to do first. In these parentheses, I'm going to do the 6 times 2. One visual is just like some kids like to draw the little arrows. They're doing this first. 6 times 2 is 12. Everybody else comes down. 8 minus, this now came down as 12, and this comes down as plus 15. You don't want to be overwhelmed by how much is going on here. So if you want to cover this part up now, that's totally fine. We did that. You don't even need to look at it anymore. Done. Now I'm down to just 8 minus 12 plus 15. We are looking at a very sneaky situation here because I have both subtraction and addition. And if you just refer to, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, this is, has my addition first. This is where it gets sneaky. Remember, we underlined, it's a bit smeary now, but we underlined our addition and subtraction so they go together. You do whichever one comes first when you move from left to right. Boom. Doing my subtraction first. Again, if you dig the arrows, totally fine. 8 minus 12 is a negative 4, and I bring down my plus 15. I don't need to look at any of that. I am just down to this little bitty baby problem. Negative 4 plus 15. The only thing I have left to do is add. A negative 4 plus 15 is going to give me 11. Can you cover up as you go? Yeah, don't be overwhelmed. There's a lot here. Notice, kind of looks like a slice of pizza. The problem is the crust, and then you work your way down to just that one number. Don't forget to screenshot the cheat sheet. Should we do a complicated problem next time? Let me know.